today we're embracing the wave of 90s nostalgia. The 90s gave us so much greatness. DVDs, the World Wide Web, and the explosion of reality TV. Remember these words. This is the true story of seven strangers picked to live in a loft and have their lives taped to find out what happens when people stop being polite and start getting real. The real world transformed TV as we know it and created the first generation of American reality TV stars. And my next guest was an original cast member of The Real World New York that debuted in 1992. Please welcome Heather B. Garner to the in person. We were yes. on Zoom when you had the reunion. Yes, when we did the Real World Homecoming. Yeah. yeah, we were on Zoom and I kept peeking through and I was like, I want to be there. That's why my face looked like that. I was, pizza. <laughs> I was like, I hope you don't see me eating this pizza. Like, I was snacking too. Yeah, so, you sorry. Are, talk about real. You are so real all day long. <laughs> 1992. 31 years ago. 31 years ago. I know. I know. So it's you crazy. are you guys are to blame for reality TV now. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> Our bad. You were so successful that everyone said, "Oh, this is it. People want to see people with cameras following them. What is it like that fly on the wall yeah. that yeah. we envision ourselves being?" You know what? It was so innocent back then, I think, for us. If you ever go back and watch the first season of Real World, none of the storylines make sense. <laughs> Julie and I are, like, playing Scrabble, and then the dog walks by. Then Eric is, like, modeling, and then Andre's playing the guitar. Yeah. They didn't know what it what was to going do, to which be. Which is why it's so epic, even when you watch it now, because, obviously, I watch some reality TV, and I'm like, that was staged. That's a producer told them to do that. Yeah. That's not real. Yeah. Now it's, like, scripted. A lot. Yeah. The budget. The budget. Yeah. yeah. They want, they like, we got to keep the eyeballs and ears on this. Yeah. What do you miss most about the night? I've been asking our guests this today. What do you miss about wow. the night? Um, I have to say, being a hip hop head and yeah. the music, like, and, and now we've lost so many of our greats. You yeah. think about Heavy D yes. and Biggie and Biz. Tupac and Biz, Biz and, and DMX yeah. and Coolio. Yeah. You know, like, we, we have lost so many of our greats, and you go back and you watch their music, and you remember where you were yeah. when their music yeah. was out. Me and my mom used to dance in the kitchen at Heavy D. She yeah. loved Heavy D. So those feelings of the music. The music. Know, was amazing, yeah. And you're still in the music world with our friend Sway. Yeah, shout love. out to Sway. The shout Sway out in the Sway. Morning we show. love you, Sway. Yeah, the Sway in the Morning Show, doing radio now at Sirius XM. Um, Sway in the morning, I do Heather B. Live on Urban View, and then I do the happy hour with Heather B. where I drink and eat all night. <laughs> and they pay me to do it. It's amazing. <laughs> we were talking earlier about 90s fashion. See, that's what I thought you would say you missed because so many people describe your fashion as fly. Oh, and thank from you. the hair down to the boots. Yes. You, what do you miss about the 90s fashion? Well, what I love about fashion is what I'm learning. I think the most fashionable people are just comfortable with whatever they wear. Girl, I am so Target. I am like, I will have on Target and Walmart and Neiman Marcus in a minute. Yeah. It is all mixed in together. Yeah. High, low. And I think as long as you're comfortable and confident with who you are, you could get away with a good okay. trash bag. I I'm going to have to tell you this. <laughs> yes. Yes. I, I love you, I love you, but I wore my door knocker earrings because yeah. I sold jewelry in Philadelphia on Market Street, and I sold plenty of these with names yes, across. Yes, Princess with, all, with everything yes. in it. That, yes. that was one of the many jobs that I have. And my team, that was me. Oh. Yes! And you see the earrings in the back. Yes! I work at Magnum Jeweler in Philly yes. selling big trunk jewelry to every rapper in Philadelphia. Absolutely. That was one of my looks, and I think they have some other fashion moments. I don't know what, that's actually me doing my best hip hop Heather B. Yeah, salt and pepper. Salt, and that's my <laughs> friend, shout out to Renee, part of the group Jeanne. Hey, Mr. Yes, D. shout out hey, to that's Renee. Renee. Yes. Tiffany, this is at uh, Tiffany Adams at Temple University here. So the My Glory 90s were at Temple University. That, and then, the shorty shorts. Yes, yes, I can't believe it. <laughs> so, 
Like, I, I don't know what it is. I miss not, the 90s fashion. Yeah. That was, for me, that sweet spot. Yeah, I think you can get away with so much now. We can just mix and match, and it's cool. And you just see so many of the influences. Simone Smith, yeah. who does the earrings, Sis Love Purple. You and see that's Mary whose J earrings I these know, are. I recognize <laughs> the design. Mary, you see Mary J. Blige, always right. I think Rihanna, we're loud and proud with it now. Just own it. Just, Just own it. it. Own it. So sure. I'd like to think that the women today learned that from the 90s. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Because even when you go back and you look at a salt and pepper with in vogue, when yeah. you think about what a man in that video, and it was like the first time we saw hip hop queens and yeah. RB queens yeah. come together. Yeah. The bodies, the tub. I was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> we was just so in it, you yeah. know? And I think it helped us own it, for sure. I love that. You know, one of my dream shows, there is an epic Vibe magazine cover. It's Lauren Hill on there. I believe it was Missy, Little Kim, yeah. and it was the queens of hip-hop. Hip -hop. And it's one of my dream shows mm. is to recreate that cover and have all of them Do it. be interviewed because that's one of my things. I think... You know, while we love our ladies of hip hop and we give them the love, they just need to be like Mount Rushmore. Absolutely. I've, there are so many greats out there. But speaking of music, and mm -hmm. you're in music, got some quizzing for you since oh, I quizzed Tori <laughs> and Jenny okay. earlier. Okay. Who wrote Whitney Houston's hit cover of I Will Always Love You? That's easy. Yeah, Dolly, Dolly okay. Parton. Yeah, okay. I know that one. These, all of my producers are under the age of 30. Okay. I, that was an easy one. Shout all out right. to the youth. That was super easy. <laughs> super easy. Who inspired the fashion trend of wearing your clothes backwards? Chris Cross. <laughs> these questions are insulting to the great I Heather B. It. I love it. I don't want to look crazy up here, Tim. This was so I'm easy. It's easy. Okay. What was the number one song on the Billboard 100 chart? July 8th, 1995. That is an unfair question, but I'm gonna give you choices. Choices, okay. Okay, was it Fantasy by Mariah Carey, Waterfalls by TLC, or One Sweet Day, Boys to Men, and Mariah Carey? Audience, can I get a lifeline? Which one y'all got? <laughs> I will give you this last hint. One of the dopest female trios of all time. TLC! Yes! yes. <laughs> Woo! Yes! Wow. And, fun fact, I still own my CD oh, from that. That's I a love one. it. Yes, yes, well, yes. We love you, sis. Love you are you amazing. Too. Congratulations you. on the continued success. Thank you, Heather.